We are learning more about the deadly car crash involving an Oklahoma City police officer responding to a call. Officer John Paul, a five-year veteran of the force, slammed into Raul Bacera's car early yesterday morning, killing the 49-year-old. News 9's John Jordan joins us from your southeast 29th in Indiana, where the collision happened. John? Well, uh, the key piece of information we still do not know tonight is if Officer Paul was speeding when he traveled along southwest 29th. That's because if he was, not only could he be at fault for the accident, but it would mean he was breaking company policy. Back out at Southwest 29th in Indiana, Oklahoma City police investigators continue to investigate the incident that had one of their officers, five-year veteran John Paul, crashing into and killing 49-year-old Raul Bucera. An incident police say has their full attention. When an officer is involved in a crash, there's also the administrative side of it. So, yes, there is more attention focused on it from the police department. Early reports show Becerra pulled in front of Officer Paul, who was responding to what police say was a non-emergency call. However, if it turns out Paul, who was driving without his lights and sirens, was also speeding, could end up being the one at fault. And a non-emergency call is this one was, are, are officers supposed to abide by all traffic laws? Officers, when they're operating in a non-emergency mode, uh, by our policy, are supposed to uh, obey traffic laws. In fact, the policy for non-emergency calls states, non-emergency designation indicates that the call assignment or situation is not urgent and immediate. Quick response is not required. However, police caution, it's still unclear if their officer was even speeding. That's something we don't know yet. Let's, let's wait and see what the accident report says and then we'll, we'll address it at that time. Now I did ask police what would happen if it's ultimately determined that Paul was, Officer Paul was speeding at the time of the accident. They said it could, he could range from another number of things from being reprimanded to being fired, but they say that will ultimately determine, be based on the circumstances involving the crash. Ed? Thanks, John. John Jordan reporting from South Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City police tell us Officer Paul remains on duty. This situation is not treated the same as an officer-involved shooting, where an officer is placed on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation.